Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 34 of the math proficiency test and it has to do with ratios. This test is for teachers in Ontario, but the math concepts are not limited to only teachers. If you have friends that are teachers or are trying to be teachers or, or just interested in math, feel free to share this video with them. That's a great way to support the channel. Now, let's tackle this problem. We have that Sasha has four yellow shirts, 10 gray shirts, seven red shirts in her closet. What is the ratio of red shirts to gray shirts in her closet? So just, if you know what you need to do here, go ahead and do pause the video, try this problem and correct yourself at the end of the video. But if not, let, the first step to solving any problems is to know what we need to know for this problem, the theory behind it, right? So check out this uh, video. You should see a pop up in the top right corner or the link should be in the, P in the description as well. So what we have here is we need to know ratios. So for example, a two to one ratio. So that means let's say win, lose. So that means if you play three games, you're expected to win two and one loss. So you'll win twice as often as you'll lose. So that's a ratio. So for example, if you have four to five ratio of onions to spice, then that means that you have, let's say you have nine in total, that means four out of nine are onions. But if you have, for example, two, two onions, then you'd have five over two spice. So 2.5 spice. So it's, it keeps the same proportion. So it's just a way of putting proportions. So that means that you have four over five onions per spice. So you have 0 0.8 onion for each spice. So there's different ways to look at ratios, but, but essentially that's what you need to know here. And so this question is uh, pretty obvious once you know the theory, right? So you, what is the ratio of red shirts to gray shirts in her closet? Well, you have seven reds. So it's red. Uh, maybe I'll put the actual colors. You have the ratio of red to, do I have a gray somewhere? If not, let's get one. So that's red to gray. And gray shirts, you have 10. And red shirts, you have 7. So the ratio, let's go back to black here. The ratio of uh, red to gray shirts is 7 per 10. That's our answer. So pretty easy. If you want to interpret this further, you could do 7 over 10 red per gray shirts. So if you analyze this further, that's for every gray shirt that you have, you have 0 0.7 red shirts. So that means that you have less gray shirts, less red shirts than gray shirts. And that makes sense. You have seven and 10. So pretty easy question if you know what ratios are and how they work. But let's build some intuitions, right? Because it might not always be this easy. So let's pretend that Sasha closes her eyes and picks a shirt at random from her closet. What is the probability that she picks a red shirt? Well, then we need to know the what a probability is, right? So the probability that she picks a red, so I'll put smaller, is simply the number of red shirts over the total number of shirts. So of shirts. So how many, so in other words, we have red over yellow plus gray plus red. So here it's pretty simple. We have seven red shirts over in total. We have four plus 10 plus seven. So is seven, uh, 21, 14 plus seven is 21. Error, if we divide by seven on, on the top and bottom we would get one over three, and we know that's 
three, three repeating. So in other words, the probability of picking a red shirt. So the probability of picking a red shirt is three thirty-three percent or 33.33% if you want. So that's your final answer. So one out of three times you'll pick a red shirt because in total you have a third of the shirts which are red. So that may, should make sense intuitively as well. I hope you enjoyed this problem. I hope you enjoyed the intuition part as well because it connects to other problems. So we're kind of doing two problems at once here. And hint, hint, this part here, the onions and spice, is for an upcoming question with ratios as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.